Hi everyone, this is Dr. Pranab here. The topic we are going to study now is coccidian parasite. Coccidian parasites. Okay, so what are the topics we are going to study under this? Let's see. The first is Toxoplasma gondii. Okay, take it. Then next we are going to study Cryptosporidium parvum. Cryptosporidium parvum. Next is Isospora belly. Isospora belly. Okay. Next is Cyclospora. Cyclospora cyatanensis. Cyatanensis. We generally call it Cyclospora only. Uh, this is not required to remember cyclospora isospora cryptosporidium this three under comes under one group we study them together this toxoplasma we study it alone number five fifth is sar sarcocystis sarcocystis cystis linder many linder many Generally, we don't study this for our NEET MDS and NEET PG preparation. So, um, these are the five topics. Five uh, topics we are going to study in coccidian parasite: Toxoplasma gondii, Cryptosporidium parvum, Isospora veli, Cyclospora, and then uh, Sarcocystis. Sarcocystis we won't be studying. First, we'll start with to Toxoplasma gondii, and then next, we'll study these three together: Cryptospora, Isospora, and Cyclospora. Fine. Let's start with Toxoplasma gondii. Okay. So let's study. Let's start with the life cycle. Life cycle. It has worldwide distribution. It infects a wide range of animals. So it has worldwide distribution. And in fact, in fact, a wide range of animals. So in this, animals are infected. Wide range of animals. It is wa worldwide distribution and it infects wide range of animals. So what are the morphological forms? Abhi, we will study the morphological forms of toxoplasma. Morphological forms. So three morphological forms are there. One is the number one is sporulated oocyst. Okay. Number one is sporulated oocyst. Number two is crescentic tacocytes. Crescentic tacocyte. I'll show you this picture of uh, crescentic tacocyte later. And tissue cyst containing bradyocytes and bradyocytes. Yeah. So, these three things you need to remember first. Okay, first three, this three terms, you should get a hang of. Hmm? What is that? Number one, sporulated, oocyst. Okay. Number two, kata sporulated oocyst ke baad, crescentic, crescentic. Tachyocytes and number three are the tissue ready, ready, right? Okay, so these three things you need to remember by heart. Okay, by heart, you need to remember now. Let's see what is the infective form. Abhi humne para tha na pehle ki iska cyst infective form hota hai, iska tachy, uh, um, this. Uh, uh, other things are infective form but in case of toxoplasma all these three are infected form all three morphological forms are infective okay you can remember toxoplasma t4 toxoplasma t4 3 and t4 uh, toxoplasma yeah t4 toxoplasma and t4 all three 
all three morphological forms are are kya hai infective theek hai fine now let's see the host now there are two types of host ek hai definitive host what has happened to my pen it's always creating problem okay तो होस्ट क्या होता है डेफिनेटिव होस्ट डेफिनेटिव होस्ट मीन वेर सेक्शुअल साइकिल टेक्स प्लेस ठीक है तो व्हाट इज द डेफिनेटिव होस्ट फॉर डेफिनेटिव होस्ट फॉर टॉक्सोप्लास्मा इट इज द कैट ठीक है नाउ इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट इंटरमीडिएट होस्ट है मैन एंड अदर मैमल्स मैन एंड अदर मैमल्स लाइक गोट एंड शिप रेट में भी होता है दिस इज रेट इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड है ओके सो ये पढ़ लिया हमने डेफिनेटिव होस्ट इज where sexual cycle takes place it is cat you need to remember this uh, just with a highlighter i would like to mark uh, highlighter cats ye aapko yaad rakhna hai intermediate host man and other mammals goat and sheep or rat may be hota hai theek hai fine now let's talk about the transmission now is some problem with my pen not pen with the laptop okay so let's see the transmission transmission abhi kaise hota hai transmission most common is ingestion Ingestion of sporulated oocyst. Ingestion of sporulated oocyst. ठीक है ये most common route है Through contaminated, contaminated soil, food or water. So this is the most common mode. क्या है Sporulated oocyst and through contaminated soil, food or वाटर के थ्रू होता है मोस्ट कॉमन मोड देन इंजेक्शन नंबर टू इज बाय इंजेक्शन ऑफ टिश्यू टिश्यू सिस्ट इंजेक्शन ऑफ टिश्यू सिस्ट ठीक है टिश्यू सिस्ट मतलब क्या था ब्रेडिजाइड फ्रॉम ब्रेडिजाइड फ्रॉम अंडर कुक्ड मीट अंडर कुक्ड मीट तो इससे भी होता है ठीक है अंडर कुक मीट से भी होता है नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इज थ्रो नंबर थ्री ये नंबर वन हो गया ये नंबर टू हो गया नंबर थ्री इज ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूशन ठीक है सोचो एक आदमी ही इज वेजिटेरियन ही डज नॉट इट मेट्स ही डिज नॉट हैव कंटामिनेशन विद दिस आल्सो तो थ्रो व्हाट मोड इट कैन हैपन थ्रो ब्लड ट्रांसफ्यूशन से भी उसको ट्रांसमिशन हो सकता है ठीक है फाइन नाउ वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द क्लिनिकल features clinical features so the most important thing we will be dividing this into various classes like we will be talking about it in adults in hiv patients and in children children means yeah fetus that is congenital toxoplasmosis okay so adults mein kya hota hai adults mein mostly they are mostly asymptomatic asymptomatic okay mostly asymptomatic adults may mostly asymptomatic most common manifestation is agar kuch symptoms dikhaya bhi to kya dikha sakta hai cervical lymphadenopathy lymphadenopathy okay this is done and in hiv kya ho sakta hai hiv most common manifestation is your 
क्या होता है एनसेफेलाइटिस होता है ठीक है एनसेफेलाइटिस इन एच आई वी पेशेंट ठीक है एंड द मोस्ट कॉमन साइट इन वॉल्व इज द ब्रेन स्टेम ठीक है सो लेट्स रिवाइज इन एडल्ट में क्या होता है मोस्टली एसिम्टोमेटिक एंड मोस्ट कॉमन मैनिफेस्टेशन इज सर्वाइकल लिम्फेडोनोपैथी बेसिकली दे आर सिम्टोमेटिक बट समटाइम इफ एनी सिम्टम्स आर मैनिफेस्टेड दैट इज सर्वाइकल लिम्फेडोनोपैथी एंड इन एच आई वी पेशेंट मोस्ट कॉमन मैनिफेस्टेशन इज एनसेफेलाइटिस ठीक है एनसेफेलाइटिस होता है एंड मोस्ट कॉमन साइट इन्वॉल्व इज द ब्रेन स्टेम ओके नाउ वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉन्जेनाइटल टॉक्सोप्लासमोसिस कॉन्जेनाइटल इन्फेक्शन ठीक है एंड थर्ड ट्राइमेस्टर मोर चांसेस ऑफ transmission so why it is more severe in first trimester trimester first trimester mein kya hota hai organogenesis hota hai organogenesis takes place in first trimester that's why it is more severe in first trimester theek hai and third trimester mein more chances of infection if um, incidence incidence kitna hota hai incidence is approximately 1 पर वन थाउजेंड लाइव बर्थ ठीक है ना वट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन मैनिफेस्टेशन मोस्ट कॉमन मैनिफेस्टेशन इज पोलियो रेटिनाइटिस विल बी टॉकिंग ऑफ दिस इन डिटेल्स नाउ नाउ द मैनिफेस्टेशन विल बी टॉकिंग सो दिस मैनिफेस्टेशन आर These manifestations we study them as 3C plus 2M. ठीक है? 3C plus 2M. तो क्या क्या होता है? Number one is chorioretinitis. What is chorioretinitis? We'll be studying. ठीक है? Chorioretinitis then cerebral calcification. ठीक है? Pair convulsions. So these are थ्री सीज ना टू एम्स टू एम्स क्या है आपका माइक्रोसेफली वट इज माइक्रोसेफली स्मॉल हेड माइक्रोसेफली एंड मेंटल रिटार्डेशन ठीक है सो दिस आर दिस आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ कॉन्जेनाइटल टॉक्सो प्लास्मोसिस क्या क्या है कोरियोरेटिनाइटिस देन सेल्ब्रल कैल्सिफिकेशन देन कॉन्वर्शन ठीक है? एक पोर्शन है कोरोइड एंड वन पोर्शन इज रेटिना सो इट इज द इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ बोर्ड कोरोइड एंड इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ बोर्ड कोरोइड एंड रेटिना ठीक है दिस इज नोन एज For your retinitis, done. We are done with this now. Now we will talk about diagnosis. Okay. So how we will diagnose congenital toxoplasmosis? Diagnosis of congenital toxoplasmosis. It is diagnosed by IgM detection in fetal blood. Okay. Also. By toxoplasma antigen in amniotic fluid. Amniotic fluid and PCR also can be used to detect to detect toxoplasma gene genes. The most important here is IgM detection toxoplasma. में एम है टॉक्सोप्लास्मा वर्ड है एम सो यू रिमेम्बर आई जी एम कॉन्जेनाइटल में क्या होता है आई जी सॉरी 
IgA is also detected but uh, IgM is more uh, specific better sensitivity IgM better sensitivity okay so now we are done with congenital also now we will talk about overall diagnosis of toxoplasma diagnosis okay so blood smear me kya hota hai microscopy we do first blood smear me blood smear me what we see coma shaped tacocytes what are these coma shaped tacocytes i will show you the tacocytes spelling is wrong so these are coma shaped tacocytes this is the coma shaped this is coma shaped crescentic also i told you before crescentic these are crescentic coma shaped crescentic coma shaped tacoy tacozoids okay i mean writing the spelling wrong so this is done then uh, we can also do biopsy this is checked to use it under microscopy okay uh, okay and then number two we can do biopsy also for tissue 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 bradyzoids bradyzoids ka pe milta hai in tissue we get so we can do biopsy also for tissue bradyzoids okay done now we will talk about antibody detection we will talk about antibody antibody detection and we use the most important test that is obsolete now but in question it keeps on coming every year every now and then not every year every now and then seven feldman test this is the gold standard method gold standard method for testing toxoplasma okay gold standard method highly it is highly sensitive and specific but cannot differentiate recent and past infection so it is highly specific and sensitive but it cannot but it cannot it cannot differentiate recent and past infection anyway you don't need to remember much you need to remember this word seven feldman test okay so in this what what they do you need to know this okay kya karte hai isme ye aapko janna zaruri hai kya karte hai isme they take patient's serum okay isme kya karte hai live tacozoids so patient serum mein kya hota hai we have antibody aur live tacozoids mein antigen hota hai to antigen aur antibody milke ek complex form hota hai theek hai and that is killed by complement what is the work of complement to kill the uh, kill the uh, complex uh, complex mein jo tacozoids hota hai usko kill karta hai theek hai and then methylene blue is added blue is added theek hai uske baad color dekha jata hai so if that uh, tacozoids are present that means it turns colorless because all the everything is killed so it turns colorless so colorless means presence of presence of toxoplasma one day man toxoplasma one day theek hai so this is this is known as uh, seven feldman test okay mm, antibody in patient serum binds to tacozoids along with complement that leads to tacozoid becoming distorted and colorless so yahi hai seven feldman test okay we can also do pcr and we can also do animal inoculation but that is not important you remember seven feldman that is enough so this is all about toxoplasma gondii we are done with toxoplasma gondii so we'll do a rapid revision 
of uh, toxoplasma gondii. So what you can do, you can go back to your notes, go to the first page, and then we will start um, revising. Okay. The first thing is we were talking about the life cycle of toxoplasma gondii. Just go back to your notes, first page. So it has worldwide distribution. It infects a wide range of animals. Okay. Any type of animals it affects. So three morphological forms are there. The sporulated wooses, the crescentic tachocytes, tachocytes, yeah, tissue cyst containing bradyocytes. So sporulated wooses ek hota hai, crescentic tachocytes ek hota hai, or bradyocytes ek hota hai. ठीक है? And T4, uh, T4 toxoplasma and T4, all the three morphological forms are infective. So ये याद रखना है आपको. ठीक है? So in this definitive host, definitive host means sexual cycle occurs. So definitive host are cat and Cat में होता है definitive host ठीक है intermediate hosts are man and other mammals goat sheep rat also okay ठीक है फिर transmission most common mode of transmission is क्या है आपको most common mode of transmission is your ingested food ingested food contaminated with sporulated wooses ठीक है food water or soil contaminated with sporulated wooses वो सबसे uh, सबसे important most common है ठीक है बाद में tissue cyst containing bradyocytes भी होता है see how to remember this you need to you need to know this आपका आपके tissue में होता है bradyocytes तो आपका blood में होता है तो B or T against T may B hota hai, B may hota hai, this is important to remember, thik hai? So, um, tissue cyst bradyocytes under cooked meat may hota hai, thik hai? Blood transfusion se bhi hota hai, thik hai? Then clinical feature, we talked about adults, then in HIV patient and congenital toxoplasmosis. So, uh, in adults, mein kya hota hai? mostly they are asymptomatic. Commonest symptom is cervical lymphadenopathy. In H HIV patient, most common manifestation is encephalitis. And the most common site involved is the brain stem. Okay? In case of um, congenital toxoplasmosis, first trimester, more severe infection. Third trimester, more chances of transmission. Okay? The incidence is approximately 1 per 1,000 1, live births. Then the clinical features are 3C plus 2M, chorioretinitis, cerebral calcification, convulsion, microcephaly, and mental retardation. Most common manifestation is chorioretinitis. Okay? So this is done with our toxoplasma. Then diagnosis, blood smear me kya dikta hai? Ye, this is the picture you are seeing here. Coma shaped uh, tachyocytes, and they are crescentic, crescentic, crescentic uh, hota hai. Coma shaped tachyocytes indicates active lesion. Okay. Then we biopsy bhi kar sakte hai. And the most important is seven Feldman test. So, this we have to remember. Seven Feldman test. This is the most important point here. And later the techniques we, we learn how we do that uh, seven Feldman. Patient ka serum lete hai. Then live tachyocyte lete hai. Complement uh, ek add karte hai and methylene blue se. Then kya hota hai? Agar if present, then it becomes colorless. So this is all about uh, toxoplasma gondii. Now we will be studying about other coccidian parasites that is cryptosporidium, cyclospora and isospora. Now we will be talking about coccidian parasites causing diarrhea in immunocompromised patients. So coccidian parasites causing diarrhea in immunocompromised Compromised patient, coccidian parasites causing diarrhea in immunocompromised patients. Immunocompromised patients. So, aapko questions mein aa sakta hai. The question may come like this: that the HIV patient is suffering from diarrhea. Okay, and it is a parasitical infection. So now you have to identify karna hai, parasitic infection. So you have to identify and one of the three are given there. Cyclospora, Cryptosporidium, 
lactosporidium and isospora so one of the three are there then you have to take one of them okay either of them can be the answer okay so immunocompromised patients may have diarrhea hota hai, so it can be due to either of them the cyclospora cryptosporidium yeah ya isospora okay now let's study about them so i will write i will make three uh, three charts or three tables for it so that you can remember the associated points related to them okay so we will make a table ठीक है एक टेबल बनाएंगे जिसमें हम सारे पॉइंट्स जो है उसके बारे में हम बताएंगे ठीक है सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट वी विल बी राइटिंग क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम ऑन द एक्सट्रीम लेफ्ट यहां पे क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम ठीक है देन आपका क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम के बाद वी विल राइट साइक्लोस्पोरा and here we will write isospora okay see this is the longest word longest word here longest okay and this is second and this is third okay, i think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten alphabets are there one two three four five six seven eight so you yeah, have eight alphabets are there so this cryptosporidium with the longest name is the smallest in size ठीक है इसका size कितना है 4 to 6 micrometer ठीक है and cyclospora जो है उसका size क्या है 8 to 12 micrometer और जो isospora है उसका size क्या है 23 to 36 micrometer so when the question comes that HIV patient is suffering from diarrhea now you have to diagnose so they will give you this um, size otherwise it's difficult to diagnose that which is the uh, organism they are looking for so if they give size 4 to 6 micrometer then you should understand that it is cryptosporidium if they give 8 to 12 micrometer then you should understand it is cyclospora and if it is 23 to 36 it is uh, isospora so how to remember this this is very important or aapko yaad karna padega ki cryptosporidium ka aapko 4 to 6 hai aur cyclospora ka 8 to 12 hai and isospora ka 23 to 36 hai so how you will remember see see this cryptosporidium has cry okay and you you remember a cricket fan okay aapko he always cry for six okay he is always looking for a six right cricket fan ipl is coming now mm, looking for six so cry for six so you can remember like that cryptosporidium is crying for six so four to six ho gaya aapka cryptosporidium you can remember that now double this in cyclospora you have to remember the sequence cci okay so uh, cyclo cryptosporidium mein 4 to 6 ho gaya double this it is 4 ka double hai 8 okay double of 4 is 8 and double of 6 is 12 so you can remember like that and now you triple this okay 8 ka triple hai 24 so 24 23 is similar and 12 ka triple hai 12 3 is 36 so you can remember it like this so kya kya kaise remember karenge cry for 6 double ho gaya 8 to 12 and triple ho gaya 23 to 36 theek hai ye we are done with this now we will study the infective forms okay so infective form kya hai in all the three the sporulated oocyst are the infective form in all the three the sporulated oocyst are the infective form ye aapko yaad rakhna hai theek hai theek hai we are done with that now 4 to 6 ho gaya 8 to 12 ho gaya 23 to 36 ho gaya now we'll be learning uh, learning about acid fast acid fastness so this jo um 
जो क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम है इट इज क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम इज यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट ठीक है और जो जो साइक्लोस्पोरा है दैट इज वेराइवली एसिड फास्ट एंड आइसोस्पोरा इज ऑल्सो यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट सो हाउ यू विल रिमेम्बर दिस आइसोस्पोरा इज ऑल्सो आइसोस्पोरा इज ऑल्सो यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट फॉर दिस वी हैव टू सी द इमेजेस ठीक है वी विल सी द इमेजेस देखो हाउ यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई सो सी जो नंबर वन है यहाँ पे ये है देखो इट इज स्मॉलेस्ट इन स्ट्रक्चर आपको एनी वे दे विल गिव यू फोर टू सिक्स माइक्रोमीटर स्मॉलेस्ट इन स्ट्रक्चर ओवेल इन राउंड इन शेप राउंड इन शेप एंड यू कैन सी एसिड फास्ट मतलब इट इज चेन पिंक एंड इट इज यूनिफॉर्मली पिंक ठीक है हर जगह पे इट इज पिंक एवरीवेयर इट इज पिंक ठीक है सो दिस मीन्स इट इज यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट But see, in case of uh, cyclospora, here it is pink. Here it is variable pink. Here it is not pink. Here it is not pink. So isospora, or uh, this is cyclospora. Cyclospora is variable acid fastness is shown by this. Okay. And here you see this is also round in shape, and this is isospora. आइसोस्पोरा में क्या होता है दिस इज ओवेल इन शेप ओवेल इन शेप यू कैन सी ओवेल बट अगेन इट इज यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट ठीक है ये पिंक है पिंक मीन्स यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट ना वाट टाइप ऑफ एसिड फास्ट स्टेन इज यूज हेयर इट इज हॉट और कोल्ड सो द स्टेन यूज हेयर इज नोन एज किनियन स्टेन ठीक है द स्टेन यूज हेयर इज नोन एज किनियन स्टेन इट इज कोल्ड एसिड फास्ट टेक्निक ठीक है टेक्निक इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज गैबेट स्टेन ठीक है डन नाउ वी विल सी द स्पोरुलेटेड वुसिस्ट ऑफ वेरियस ऑक्सीडियन पेसाइड सो दिस यू कैन सी सो वट इज देयर दिस आर द दिस इज आपका क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम this is cryptosporidium this is cyclospora and this is isospora to yahan pe kya hota hai aapka jo cryptosporidium hai usme kya hota hai it contains four sporozoites i will take out my laser just a minute cryptosporidium mein kya hota hai it has four क्या बताया था कॉन्टेंस फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स सो क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम हैज फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स ये देखो इसको स्पोरोजाइट बोलते हैं ठीक है इट हैज फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स ये दिस इज क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम वन टू थ्री फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स सी दिस इज रिटर्न हेयर फोर स्पोरोजाइट क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम में ठीक है देन साइक्लोस्पोरा कॉन्टेंस टू स्पोरोसिस्ट इच हैविंग टू स्पोरोजाइट सो दिस इज साइक्लोस्पोरा हैविंग टू स्पोरोसिस्ट ये स्पोरोसिस्ट है और उसके अंदर दो स्पोरोजाइट्स है ठीक है साइक्लोस्पोरा कंटेन टू स्पोरोसिस्ट हैविंग टू स्पोरोजाइट्स एंड इन केस ऑफ आइसोस्पोरा ये ओवेल इन शेप इट कंटेन्स टू स्पोरोसिस्ट हैविंग फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स ये फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स है टू स्पोरोसिस्ट हैविंग फोर स्पोरोजाइट्स तो इतना ही है दिस इज ऑल अबाउट आवर दिस टॉपिक साइक्लोस्पोरा दिस कॉक्सीडियन पेरासाइट वन मोर पॉइंट रिमेन इज द ऑटो इन्फेक्शन ऑटो इन्फेक्शन सो ऑटो इन्फेक्शन इज शोन बाय आपका कौन कौन दिखाता है इट इज शोन बाय क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम एंड द स्पोर्स स्पोरा स्पोरा में इट ऑटो इन्फेक्शन इज नॉट सीन इज नॉट सीन ठीक है यू सी साइक्लोस्पोरा ऑटो इन्फेक्शन इज नॉट सीन यू सी आइसोस्पोरा ऑटो इन्फेक्शन इज नॉट सीन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट कॉक्सीडियन पैरासाइट कॉजिंग डायरिया इन इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज पेशेंट सो वाट आर दे जस्ट रिवाइज क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम साइक्लोस्पोरा एंड आइसोस्पोरा ठीक है तो इन्फेक्टिव फॉर्म है जस्ट गो थ्रू योर नोट्स एंड रिवाइज 
क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम स्पोरुलेटेड वूसिस्ट तीनों में ही स्पोरुलेटेड वूसिस्ट है देन क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम फोर टू सिक्स माइक्रोमीटर इन डायमीटर क्राइ फॉर सिक्स यू कैन रिमेम्बर इट लाइक दैट डबल ऑफ फोर टू सिक्स इज एट टू टुवेल्व साइक्लोस्पोरा एंड देन आइसोस्पोरा इज ट्वेंटी थ्री टू थर्टी सिक्स ठीक है क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम इज यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट ये पिक्चर देखो यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट देन दिस इज आप यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट दिस इज वेराइबल एसिड फास्ट एंड दिस इज ऑल्सो यूनिफॉर्मली एसिड फास्ट ठीक है फिर आपका आ गया ऑटो इन्फेक्शन ऑटो इन्फेक्शन इज सीन इन आपका क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम एंड इट इज नॉट सीन इन साइकोलोस्पोरा एंड आइसोस्पोरा वन थिंग इज लेफ्ट इज ऑटो इन्फ्लूडेस ऑटो इन्फ्लूडेसेंस सो ऑटो इन्फ्लूडेसेंस ऑटो फ्लोरोसेंस एक्चुअली आई एम सो सॉरी फॉर द मिस प्रोनाउंसिएशन सो क्रिप्टोस्पोरिडियम डज नॉट शो ऑटो इन्फ्लूडेसेंस बट इट कैन बी स्टेन्ड विथ फ्लोरोसेन डाई Cyclospora shows maximum auto influ auto fluorescence, and isos isospora may show or may not show auto fluorescence. So this was all about the coccidian parasite. I hope you like the class, and if you have liked the class, please do like do put a like for our video, and do subscribe to our channel, and do give a comment. Um, uh for the topics you would like me to uh, cover in our coming classes so thank you very much see you in the next class thank you